my YouTube subscribers and the views I get will help pay for the services I'm offering. My goal along the way is that maybe I would get some projects where in the process of the video, I can also show others how to do whatever I'm doing. You know, we can help others learn how to do things. We can provide a free service for you. And in the same time, I'm still going to get paid because hopefully by YouTube. By so YouTube. everyone wins, hopefully, in the end. My laundry floor drain yeah. started backing up. They had to tear out all of that. They put a new soil pipe in for me. So everything I had, and I was robbing Paul to pay Peter, my estimates was coming in around $13,000 to do this work. That left me broke. This is what's finished, but it's still a mess. I was doing something, I was bending over, and all of a sudden, I hit my breast, and I felt this lump, and it hurt. Oh. I tried to take care of my health as much as possible. A little overweight, a little over smoking, a little over drinking, but hey. Ain't nothing wrong with a fried chicken wing. They, they did the imaging, and um, they saw the lump. It was about the size of a walnut. So at first they told me I had stage two. I was in shock. And then they came back because they found these nanos and stuff. That made it stage three. And I just had this, this epiphany. This cancer is not going to do you in. After the second chemo treatment, that walnut, then pecan turned into a pistachio. Oh, we have a we have a <laughs> this and loose... then I got a couple of a couple of stairs I like to take out. I have the lumber for so it. So this thing is yeah, wobbly. and I just if we just run some bolts, zip, 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 zip. Yeah, because I'm gonna get this replaced anyway. Okay. Um, and but for now, just kind just, of do it. Yeah, a just temporary... the rest of them is fine. Sturdy and I up. think I got one step over there. And because I'm sure it. you're using that a good bit. Yes, this yeah. is this is my go-to. Okay, yeah. This is my So we go got this thing's wobbly, and then the you want those replaced. Yeah, just, yeah. And I have, like I said, I have the lumber in the backyard for that. Okay, yeah. yeah. That that looks easy enough to me. And if you have the lumber, I've got all the, the tools I okay. need to get it Okay, and then so. I got one more step that I like to have. Is it outside? It's in, inside. Inside, let's yeah, look at I, it. I have trouble getting to my basement. Let's, um, let's look at it. Okay, let's go look at this. Yeah. Okay, now you can't run the camera through my whole house because it's junky. So I can't safely get in my own basement. So you need another step in I here. need another step. There's supposed to be a step here. Yeah, these are pretty bad. I'm seeing as I'm tearing this off, like there's a lot of, there's a lot more that could be done here. Like if we had the, the budget for it, like, yeah. Yeah, I just want to get to the winner. Yeah. Just, you know, and then I can hopefully I can save up Yeah. Yeah, well, hopefully we can get it to a point where it'll get you through the winter at least. Yeah.
try to I'm gonna try to put a couple screws in there. This is loose as well. I'm gonna think of you every time I do this. Oh, that's much better. Sam, this is for you. I um, inadvertently bought a blower motor online because I was thinking about how am I going to blow my snow because I'm not going to be able to shovel it in the summer. And if I catch it while it's light, maybe I can just take a little portable blower okay. and just blow the snow off the stairs. And then I realized, and it was such a good price, I realized that it was... It didn't come with the battery. That's oh, why no it was way. a good price. But it's a DeWalt, and it comes with a 12 volt. And since I so see you're, you're using, use it? no, Are I'm giving sure? it to you. I really appreciate it. It's a small little lightweight blower. Oh, look at that! And you just put your DeWalt battery with it. Believe it or not, I have considered buying one of those a number of times because I have my bigger one. Right, and sometimes like you don't want to haul gas, absolutely. and just like yeah. what you're doing that now, going to come in just the sawdust. Extremely handy. So for this sure. is for you. I don't have money, but I do have to. I really appreciate okay, it. Okay, sure. so this is for you, and thank you. I appreciate All you. All right, thank you. Okay. All right, look at this, guys. That is actually going to come in very handy. I really appreciate this. This is something that I've considered buying so many times because I have my bigger blower that I take out, um, but for just smaller stuff where I don't have to start it up or whatever, maybe I want to blow the dust off my tools. This is really cool. I'm going to put a battery in it right now. So there's the... Perfect. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much, Cheryl. You're quite welcome. All right, so over here there's a, a loose part of the railing she wants to try to just tighten up. I'm going to put a 2x4 underneath there. And a lot of this is temporary. This railing's in really bad shape, and she's hoping to get it fixed up, I think, next spring or something. So we're trying to hold her over for the winter as of right now. <laughs> All right, now over here on this side, we have another loose, wobbly handrail, and we're just doing whatever we have to to secure it, and make it safe for the winter. Now I'm thinking about just screwing a two by on the other side of this. So I guess for this one over here, you don't care so much how it looks as just for it I to don't be, care. Yeah, just I just to be want safe, stable. right? Right, exactly. I might have to put it on the outside here. Wherever you got to put it, put it. Outside okay. might be better. Well, you don't see it as much, actually. You don't Let's... see it as much and it'll give you the lateral strength. Yeah. <laughs> right, that'll keep it safe for the winter, hopefully. Yeah, that's all I need. One season. Yeah, you okay. can just put it right on the on on the lawn between the two trees. So this is supposed to be the next project here is her basement step, and I'm just a little nervous about it. This is a really bad situation with her step. There's one missing here, and she's having trouble getting up and down. But with the way this thing's designed. I'm having a really hard time thinking about safely adding a step in there because the rest of these just look a little bit sketch as is. And the last thing I want to do is add a step and then have it fill or something. So I'm a little nervous and not sure what to do about this, this one here. It looks like at some point this step was actually supposed to be down here and the landing shorter. So I'm having a problem with like adding a step in this space because it's not really made for it. I mean, 
it's going to, if I do, my concern is putting a, I want to make sure I put something in that's safe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to add a step that's not going to. So what's supposed to happen, I think, I don't know why, what they did here or why they did this, but I'm almost certain that at some point this was down here as your first step. Yeah, I'm, I'm certain of that as well. And then and the then, landing was shorter. Right, and then even if there's another piece of the landing, because I think there is a little smidge there, it's not much. So let's do that. Why don't we take this out and put that there and just build a bridge, like put a two by four or something across there and then one down on the floor to well, stabilize so it. So the, the one thing I see here is... If we gotta leave know. that clip off, we'll leave that clip off. What clip? You know, off of this and just stop it here. But I think it stopped there. The landing? Yeah, the landing had another little smidget on it. So it might even be a matter Well, of I'm not sure that it did, though, because it almost looks like it, it just stopped just right here. Just goes straight down. Because, okay. because I think it sat right down on here. But what I'm trying to figure out is why they ever moved it up. Like, because it kind of got weak, and then just different people moving stuff around, and just like, here, let's put something stable together. And the last guy that helped out just could only figure out these two stairs. Yeah. So, so I mean, what I'm going to suggest is just dropping this down. Okay. But then you're, as long as you're okay with the landing I'm okay being, with that. being yes. that short, I'm that's, that's what's that. going to have to happen because otherwise I, I don't right. see a good I way to. I need to be able to get down the stairs. Yeah. And that's, that's the main thing for me. Okay. Well, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. I just want to make sure you're not surprised or caught off guard if the landing is too is shorter. <laughs> no, but I think fine. that's originally. Plus, not. that's a trip hazard anyway. I, that's, yeah. That's, that's already. Fixed. I think that was the original design is right here. So. Okay. So all right. Good. Okay. okay. be sturdier. This one's sturdy. What if I just go like this? Alright. Hopefully she can get in her basement now. This, I don't know. This steps is not the greatest never was the greatest but i'm hoping that does what needs to do for now well, no i really I, appreciate you i'm gonna keep it we're gonna keep in touch all right i appreciate okay. it all thank right you. thank you all right i'm back in my shop here and that ended up being about four four and a half hours and she ended up giving me a little tip and this cool little blower here I wasn't expecting at all, but this is honestly something that I've been wanting to get. So I'm I'm very pleased with this. This is very cool because this just I have another blower, but I would like to keep this in my van for blowing the dust off my tools and for smaller things uh, where I would keep the bigger blower at the shop unless I know. You know, I need it for something major. So really cool. Very thankful for that. Um, and again, 
subscribe. If you want to find out how much this job is going to end up paying me through YouTube ad revenue, this is something I've just started here. Second job here. I don't know how long I'm going to be providing updates on how much I'm making on these jobs because I don't know if that's sustainable long term if I'm doing one of these every week, if I can continue to make update videos. But I will do one for this for sure in three months. Come back and find out how much YouTube ad revenue actually pays for something like this. Uh, I'm kind of sad that I wasn't able to make a little bit of a tutorial on this job. Um, again, I'm hoping in the future I'm able to do some jobs where you know maybe I'm replacing a window, a door, uh, something where I can do an actual tutorial and what's called like evergreen content on YouTube, if you're familiar with that term, uh, where I don't know if this idea is going to work, where we integrate a tutorial and this will you know, show up in search results for years and years to come. Uh, but again, for today, it ended up not really working out that way, but hopefully in the future I can do that. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you can find out what's happening in three months from now.